So good day, everybody. Uh, my name is Paul Thompson from Site Improve, and welcome to the latest episode of Marketech Mondays, where we feature marketing, marketing veterans and, and leaders uh, to share their career journey and inspire the new generation of marketers. Uh, for this episode, we have invited a marketing veteran from the education sector, um, Neil Cullingford. He is currently the Director for Marketing Communications at Murdoch University here in Australia. And prior to this, he was brand and marketing manager at Electricity Corporation Western Power. Um, he was also a marketing manager and executive for B2B events firm United Business Media and also Centaur Media as well. So we're very excited to uh, speak, with, speak with him today. Um, and this is Marketech Mondays. Um, Neil, how are you doing today? Uh, oh yeah, I'm good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Thanks for, for joining us uh, today to share your insight. Um, I'm really looking, at, looking forward to the conversation and I'm sure um, everyone is going to get some really great insights into, into your journey within, uh, within the industry. So really to kick it off, you know, let's talk about where you started in the industry, kind of those begins. Um, we've all got a, a beginning point uh, within the marketing uh, world and we'd love to know how you started. So what was your, your, your first job and was it even in the marketing arena? Uh, well, where I started off, I actually did a journalism degree at Cardiff Uni and, and then I ended up going to London to work. I, I went through a couple of jobs there. Um, and then I ended up, um, I was really lucky because I, I had an interview with a small um, entrepreneurial company called Quest Media and, um, and there was a really inspiring entrepreneur there called Adrian who, who, um, who gave me a chance, gave me a chance in marketing um, and from there I kind of learnt, um, I was kind of self-taught in many ways to start with. Mm -hmm. Um, but then got to experience working with other um, marketers as well and, and learn my trade. Um, and then I went through Quest and, and into um, Centaur and then back to Quest actually for a while, which was yeah. um, acquired by UBM in the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, lots of exposure in terms of different types of marketing. My, my yeah. main focus to start with was, was direct marketing, kind of pretty yeah. old school direct marketing, sales letters yeah. and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then I came to Australia, ended up at Western Power doing a lot of work around brand and corporate rep. And, yeah. there, and there, from there, I ended up at uh, Murdoch shortly afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, certainly a lot has changed in terms of kind of very, very print focused uh, and kind of the, the, the above the line, um, below the line uh, approach to uh, a yeah. Yeah, much more integrated and digital approach these days, for sure. Um, and can you can you kind of cast your mind back to what was that that first campaign that you can remember where you really got to see um, kind of the, the the full kind of process involved in, in a direct marketing campaign through from creative to delivery and then the kind of results? Is there a campaign that sticks sticks out in your mind? Yeah, the, my first campaign does stick in my mind because it didn't go as well as I hoped. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was really a, a subscriptions campaign um, and I learned a lot there and there's still kind of lessons I still carry with me about um, the importance of having good data, which I didn't yeah. have at that point, um, but also um, really knowing your audience. And so whilst um, it didn't go as well as I, I hoped, I took a lot out of that. Um, mm. Didn't get as many subscriptions as I wanted to. Yeah. Um, but actually what that did was help me kind of improve both in terms of myself as a marketer, but also how we performed in future campaigns. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think we, we need those um, less successful moments to then be able to go on and learn from that and build, uh, build the successes that follow it uh, in many ways. Totally. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so really, so, you know, in your, in your current role, so you know, you're currently the director of marketing uh, and comms uh, at Murdoch um, here in Australia. Um, you know, it must have been a really interesting journey going through the ranks um, within Murdoch itself. Um, how did you eventually land in, in, the, in the director role that you currently 
um, you, you're currently in. Um, and how has that experience been? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been great for me, actually. Um, so I came into Murdoch as uh, the Associate Director of Marketing. So I reported yeah. in the role I, I am in now. And actually, um, within six months, I've been promoted to director um, following the director I was reporting to leaving leaving the university. So yeah. um, I was given a chance and I was given a chance on an interim basis and I, I grabbed that um, and took that opportunity to really um, drive what I um, felt were the important things that the university needed to do at that time. Um, yeah. The experience has been, um, it's been really, really um, beneficial for me just in terms of my, my development as a person, but also in profession. Mm. Um, yeah. It's taught me um, how determined I am and how persistent I yeah. am. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I've learned a lot of lessons about working with academics and the importance of when you have your research, you've got to be spot on with that because mm. it's going to get interrogated. Um, yeah. But also um, what I've really enjoyed about working at Murdoch is actually the audiences we get to work with. So we're working with high school kids going through to university. Um, yeah. We were using the breadth of channels and that's from creating TV commercials to delivering, um, delivering yeah. campaigns and, and performance marketing. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. And you and you, you 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 kind of just touched on this, but in terms of you know what what do you find as the, the most challenging element of 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 that role? Um, but also conversely, you know what's what's the most rewarding the most rewarding piece? Um, it's I think the challenging part um, in a university environment is um, is actually for people to see the value of what we do as marketers. Mm -hmm. um, and you know it's that whole thing of, of marketing sometimes being seen as a colouring in department or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> and so that's why it's so important to show um, the creative side, but also show the analytical side that backs it up and yeah. is really critical really cool to doing good work. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's been tough, and and that's been the thing that. Um, you know, over the last few years, I've worked really hard at it and, and would build trust across the university. So university yeah. is probably the most rewarding side as well, um, as well as um, some really successful campaigns that helped us build that trust, including um, um, the campaigns we put in market. One was called Free Your Think. Um, mm. It evolved into This Is Free Thinking, and that's grown our market share um, domestically in, in WA. Yeah, okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, awesome. Um, and obviously, in, you know, a number of those roles, have, like you, you, you've you been in the leadership role for, for, for a while now um, in various different organisations. Um, and, you know, like from a, from a leadership perspective, like what, what, are, what are you like as a leader? <laughs> How do you know what, what's your what's your approach and your, your philosophy um, working with working with your, your team? Well, I think um as a leader, you've, you've got to really, I think for me, it's about understanding what drives people, but also joining the dots as well. Um, yeah. And having yeah. kind of them across. Um, yeah. I think um, it's really, I think my personal style is, is pretty um, supportive and collaborative. Um, I mean, yeah. certainly like to bring people together to solve mm -hmm. problems rather than trying to do it myself. Um, yeah. And I'm not afraid of, of admitting where I, uh, you know, where my, areas that i'm not so strong on are and yeah. just knowing that in terms of as a leader bringing people around me that know those things and um you know yes yeah. very lucky i've got really talented people around me and um and that helps me as a leader do what i need yeah. to do but also yeah. gives them growth as well yeah very very much a very much a team sport isn't it you need a uh, all of all of the team um on on the same page working to working towards the goals yeah, you can't do it on your own. Mm. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's it's about um, about building those relationships with your teams and and, and building yeah. trust with those people. Yeah, awesome. Um, and I'm sure, um, as as we all have, you've seen um, many successes, but also a couple of more challenging, um, dare I say, failure moments or, or learning moments. Um, you know, what would you consider um, is kind of that, that that kind of that moment in your career where you, you've had a challenge, it hasn't quite gone as planned um, and kind of what impact did that 
did that have on on you as a person but you know and, and how you took that forward and used it yeah i think for me there was a very personal moment probably during my career and it was fairly early on when yeah i just um i realized i, I i'd lost my motivation i wasn't really passionate about what i was doing and mm. you know that's the one thing that's really important you want to get up and uh, in the morning and not and not dread where you're going into work, but you want to, you want to, yeah. you know, you're making a difference and you want to know yeah. that it's something you want to do. So I yeah. think at that point in time, I knew in myself I wasn't doing the best job I could. I yeah. think um, we, it's really important to have that self awareness and to recognize that, um, not as a leader, but just as someone um, in a role um, mm. in any organization. So um, yeah, I had to make the call that, that that wasn't the place for me and, and I moved on and I, I was lucky I, I ended up going um, to somewhere where I, I, I did feel um, and it brought me back to my passion around marketing and brand and and, yeah. uh, um, and then and then things went from there. But yeah, that was probably the most challenging time of my career was when mm. I, I did question whether I wanted to be a marketer anymore. Um, yeah. But um, then shortly afterwards, I realised that actually it was making sure I was in the right environment for myself. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it's obviously that that kind of uncomfortable moment of uh, progression and growth has obviously obviously paid its paid its dividends out. Um, you know, with the, with the current with your current role. So, yeah. Um, and what about the what about the the, the greatest uh, success, um, you know, what what has what has been the kind of the big the big milestone where you've really got some great satisfaction out of the the achievement or the team's achievement, you know, kind of you know, what what stood out there. Oh, uh, there's a couple. I think one I mentioned earlier, which was um, mm. just that growth in market share for for Murdoch locally, yep. um, and and the increase in student numbers. Um, when I when I started at Murdoch, we we in a bit of a decline in terms of those student numbers mm. and um, one of the things and it's an important thing about strategy is to really focus in and yeah. kind of block out some of the noise sometimes so you can make those improvements and, and drive that growth so we we really um, doubled down on the high school leavers we we knew we mm. needed to be better there and we saw ma amazing results and those results have continued over the last five years so i'm really proud of that and really mm. um as well as like all of the people that kind of have been involved over that time, you know, some are still at Murdoch, some have moved on, but it was uh, it's a massive achievement for anybody um, yeah. in, a, in a very mature market, in a disruptive market, um, and with some very strong local um, brands in terms of the universities here to see that growth and and to come back from a decline. So I was very proud of them, and also we've recently. Um, done a, a work on a brand program and that's uh, a bit of a revitalization that's culminated in a new logo and visual identity so i'm proud of that work mm. too massive team yeah. effort um and a, a big education piece that we have to do with that brand's not just a logo even though the yeah. logo gets um, a lot of attention but we've we've um, rolled it across the out across the university and you always get a bit of um negativity around it but it's basically yeah. negative, i'm glad to say yeah yeah for sure and that's and, and 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 to kind of build on that. So when you know going through those processes, um, who do you like from a mentor perspective? You know the, the saying is no man is a is an island as it, as it were. Um, you know, and I'm sure um, in your position, you know, you, you have a um, a number of um, mentor type roles that that you can turn to and, and help with. Um, Kind of advice and, and um, career advice, etc. Um, you know, does is there a particularly strong uh, individual that stands out from an inspiration perspective, or has really helped you set those those personal goals and direction? Um, is there anyone that stands out, uh, and, and kind of what was their impact? Um, if there is someone kind of that really stands out for you? Yeah, um, before I came to Murdoch, there was um, someone called um, John, John Lacroix, who's um, well known in Perth. Um, yeah. And um, actually, he, before I started here, he'd actually been a director of marketing here at Murdoch. So that was, yeah, okay. Yeah. Instance. I ended up here. Never was the intent, but it, it ended up that way. Um, but yeah. John was really good. I think um, you always need someone who believes in you um, and yeah. pushes you that little bit further than you would push yourself. 
and yeah. the mentor he, he really did support me he supported me through some tough times when i was at western mm -hmm. power but also he most of all um gave me confidence in myself and mm -hmm. my eyes um around brand and brand strategy as well to, to yeah, like okay. i hadn't been before um yeah. so you know that was that was really important in my development and um um, and you know, it's it's always it's always important to be confident and believe in yourself, and to have someone that believes in you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, certainly, you know, if I reflect on, on on myself, the the thing that stands out for me actually from a mental perspective is someone someone that kind of gives you that permission to fail as well and learn yeah. from those. Um, and you know, the, the kind of safe space almost to to be able to do that and learn from those experiences. That's yeah, something that's really stood out for me. Yeah, I'd say I'd also say it's about not waiting for the world to come to you. You've got to go out yeah. and get it as well. And yeah, um, and that sometimes means you do mess up, you fail, you don't get it right, but yeah. at least you've done something. And as long as yeah. you've got a good reason or rationale for doing that, then that's cool. Yeah, fantastic. And does that? And so that's that's kind of a, a good segue into you know, do you have a you know like a, a life? um slogan or a personal mantra that, that 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 you do try and focus on to give you that that kind of direction and and, and ability to focus on, on on where you're going yeah um i do i can never remember it verbatim but um yeah. but certainly for me at the, at the heart of it or the essence of it is um it's, it's about my family my family is very important to me um but yeah. it's creating a, an, an environment in a world where um they can be, they can, um, it's about creating a positive environment for people, the people around me, whether yeah. it's my family, whether it's the people I work with. Um, and it's hard sometimes when you're going through tough times or you're going through difficult things as, as a person or within your professional life. But I think mm -hmm. um, for me, um, I need to hold on to um, affecting people in a positive way and, and how yeah. can I do that and how can I do that that helps both myself and others. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Um, and thinking about just just thinking about higher education, thinking about what kind of what's happened um, over the last year. Obviously, higher education has been an area particularly um, disrupted, um, and there's been a whole raft of things that have come with that over the last year. Um, you know, what, for, for, for you, what do you think has been the biggest marketing challenge, you know, within the higher education space um, currently? Um, and, you know, obviously this is a, a huge question, but, you know, how do, how do we go about, you know, approaching something, um, you know, the, the challenges that we've had uh, from, from a high level, of course? <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's a lot, like you said, happening in yeah. higher and it is a really challenging space to be in right now, but there's yeah. a, lot, a lot of sectors suffering the same. Mm. It's it's pretty obvious to say international um, and yeah. the student mobility that's been impacted by uh, COVID and uh, universities across Australia are suffering from from the revenue impact of that. Um, and, and, you know, they've, they've mm. relied in the past for whatever reason but that revenue is not coming through those customers simply not coming to the universities anymore in the same way yeah. or numbers yeah i think the biggest challenge though is in 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 a sector like um, the university sector where it's well established it's mm -hmm. it's about kind of how do you keep pushing the boundaries how do you stay relevant to um, your customers and stakeholders and everybody um, mm -hmm want to um, connect with and yeah. um, so that kind of takes me back to to, to to looking at brand and understanding within yourself what's who you are what you stand for how mm. can you differentiate yourself authentically yeah uh, and use that as a platform for everything else and once you've got that platform there everything else comes much easier from my perspective mm. so, um, you know the campaigns you run have kind of got that um, place to go back to to mm. drop those and and you become more consistent in the way you show up and you hope more relevant and um and show up in a slightly different way to what could be a very homogenous kind of um mm. environment in terms of the university sector yeah 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 fantastic yeah. and and do you think that um 
in in a in a in a strange way there's been um you know has has the the last year's disruption presented you with opportunities to accelerate um projects or or, or strategies that you're thinking about within university has that presented an opportunity as well as as well as the challenge i think um yeah totally i i i i look at again the the value that we put on marketing and yeah do two things when when you're impacted like this you can you can yeah you can pull away or you can push harder yeah. um, i think as a as a university we've, we've really kept pushing hard with our marketing yeah. there's there's where the opportunity lies now for yeah. marketers across different sectors i think um yeah. the the for us it's been um we've been able to do a lot more work around um the digital side of things and being able to mm. invest in our digital infrastructure and that's very much mm. important to us and also mm. um, keep looking at our research and understanding you know with our, our customers and the people we're talking to where are mm. they coming from what's changing there and then identifying how we can provide um, products and services and also communicate mm. with them. so there's there's lots of opportunity there especially in the changing environment yeah yeah thanks yeah that's yeah that's really really insightful um and and we've, we've covered quite a bit of ground here so like for our for our audience um you know for for the, the millennials out there and then gen z's you know and those looking to to get into the industry or already in the industry and looking to kind of progress in their in their career and roles um you know what what's your advice to them um what are the you know what are the what are the what are, what's the areas they should focus on or, or the or the thoughts you can you can kind of leave leave them with so i think um to start with it was a bit a bit around my mentor and, and what I, I mentioned in terms of you yeah. always yourself um i yeah. think also don't put yourself under too much pressure too soon as well um let yourself make mistakes understand where you're at in your career and 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 um and mm. don't copy someone else. Be yourself. Um, yeah. People quickly see through it if you're not yourself. Um, so, you know, I think it's about just being the authentic you and knowing where you need to grow. Focus on that, but also play to your strengths too. Mm. Uh, and I, I, I just think it's about um, building, having people around you and building relationships with people you can trust. Um, to give you an advice, to to, give, to guide you, but also to support you as well. So yeah. that would be my advice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think um, you know that's that's a, a great place uh, to leave it. So, you know, thanks so much, Neil, for for sharing uh, you know kind of your experiences and those insights. Um, this is the first time we've had um, a marketing leader from the education sector on, so it's been you know a fantastic, fantastically insightful uh, conversation. Um, and we're sure um, the viewers will, you know, take much, uh, take lots of insight uh, and, and some really kind of interesting uh, ideas away from that. So really, you know, there we have it. That's another inspirational uh, and insightful episode of Marketech Mondays uh, wrapped up. Um, we're looking forward to to share more amazing stories uh, from other marketing leaders. So if you're a marketing leader and have a story to tell, please email us at Mondays at marketech apaccom um, My name has been uh, Paul, and until next time, uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you. <laughs>